1996, Riverdance came to North America from Dublin, Ireland, and now the cast is saying farewell. For 14 years, millions around the globe have seen this thunderous celebration of Irish music, song, and dance, and now for a limited engagement, Riverdance is here for a eight farewell performances. Craig Ashurst and Katharina Coyne join me now. Good to see you. Welcome to Hi. Austin. Thanks for having Thank us. You. It's so good to see you. Can you believe it's nearing an end after this many years? I know, years? I know. I suppose we've just got to just enjoy it while it lasts. I suppose. <laughs> How has the performance <laughs> evolved over all this time? Um, well, it's, it, it hasn't really changed from day one. I mean, certain numbers in the show have changed, costumes have changed. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been uh, modified, uh, some numbers have been taken out of the show, but generally it's the same show that's been going for 15 years. And how did it start in the first place? Um, well, it originally started, um, it was back in 1994 as part of an interval act at the Eurovision Song Contest, and it was, it was just a seven minute um, piece, and it just went down great, and it just, it just came into this big m mass production of of a great show. Let's yeah. take a look at some of the numbers. It's just amazing, you know, the synchronicity and uh, it's got such an energy to it. Why do you think audiences have been so attracted to it for all these years? Because it's been a blockbuster every year. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, I guess it's a family show, so it's something that, that anyone can go and see, which is um, its big appeal, really. And there is something there for everyone in the show. Song, dance, music. And we have, we have different artists. We have um, American tap dancers with the uh, Russian ballet company in the show. So there's different, there's different forms of dance there as well. Something, Something to keep for you everyone. entertained throughout yeah. the hour, an hour and a half. Mm. Are the dances hard, the <laughs> dance numbers hard on your legs, your joints? Well, s s I mean, of course, some days you're like, oh, I'm a little sore today. We, we, act we sometimes will jump into an ice bucket after the show, to, really? you know, just to stop inflammation or anything. But generally, it's fine. We have a physio that travels on tour with us to keep us in shape, and you just got to keep healthy and go about it correctly, and it's usually fine. Craig, you're from Australia, but Katrina, you are from Ireland. Mm -hmm. Proper. Tell us yeah. uh, <laughs> what this has done for Irish culture. Do you think? Um, well, it's really it's put Ireland on the map, really, as um, an entertainment, you know, and um, everyone in Ireland knows what river dance is and now everyone in the world knows what river dance is so it really has put Ireland on the map and um, it's been great it's been it's been massive for Ireland so we're very proud of it well good luck to you I hope something just as amazing is headed your way next yep thank you, thank you. and Thanks good luck so on the tour again you can catch Craig Ashurst and Katarina Coyne in a farewell performance of River Dance through Sunday at UT's Bass Concert Hall. For showtimes or to buy tickets, just go to our website. We've posted a link under the news link section of kv.com.